Hi everyone, and welcome to Shavlik Patch. My name is Joe Andert, and I'm a technical communicator with Shavlik. In this video, I will be showing you how to use the advanced filtering capabilities in Shavlik Patch. So, let's get started. The information that is displayed in the Shavlik Patch list and in the published third-party updates list can be filtered so you can search for specific updates. There are a number of predefined filters in Shavlik Patch, and these are identified with a leading asterisk. For example, here is the current set of predefined filters. The predefined filters cannot be modified or deleted. You can also create your own custom filter. You simply click the New Smart Filter icon, type a name for the filter, define one or more rules, and then click Save. I'm going to cancel out of here because for this video I already created two custom filters. One is named Adobe or Google and the other is named Last 30 Days. I can examine each filter one at a time by selecting it and then clicking the Edit Filter icon. So. I can see that the Adobe or Google filter is a pretty simple filter. It will select those updates that are for either Adobe products or Google products. The last 30 days filter is also very simple. It will select all updates that were created within the last 30 days. But what if I want to use both filters at once? What if I want to search for updates for Adobe or Google products and I'm only interested in updates that were created in the last 30 days? I can't do this particular search with just one smart filter because it involves both OR and AND logic. I can, however, do it using a composite filter. A composite filter consists of two or more filters that are linked and that run in series. This advanced filtering feature enables you to repeatedly narrow your search of the updates within a grid by automatically running two or more filters back to back. Let me show you how this is done. First, I will click the New Composite Filter icon. I'll then type a name for the filter. Let's give it the very straightforward name of Adobe or Google Updates within the last 30 days. To define this composite filter, I will start by using the Adobe or Google filter, and then I will filter again using the last 30 days filter. If I save and then use this composite filter, the grid will now only show me recent updates for Adobe or Google products. Let's take this one step further. Suppose a new Adobe update is released that causes an issue with an Adobe product that you use. You simply create another smart filter that looks for just that update and then you can add that filter to the composite filter. To show that here, I will quickly create a new smart filter that searches for the update named Adobe Air 15.0.0.249. And just a quick caveat, I am by no means implying that there is anything wrong with this update. I'm just using it as an example. With that filter now in place, I can now add it to my composite filter. I will use it to remove updates selected by that filter. The composite filter will now locate for me Adobe or Google updates that were created in the last 30 days, minus the one update in my custom exclusions filter. 
And as you can see, the Adobe Air update no longer appears in the list. So I now have a composite filter that can be used to quickly identify updates that I want to publish in my organization. With this powerful composite filter now in place, I may want to automate the process by scheduling it to run every seven days. For example, By using the composite filter within this scheduled task, every update issued for either Adobe or Google will be automatically downloaded and published every seven days, minus any updates I know will be a problem. For more information about Shavlik Patch, go to the web URL shown here. These two web pages contain additional video tutorials as well as a number of Shavlik Patch user guides. Thanks for watching.